everyone. Welcome to the Nerve Ape podcast. Uh, this is going to be our first episode. And what a better way to start. Uh, there, I, I would say there's no, no better way to start than to start with the story, Nerve Ape Saga. Uh, Nerve Ape Saga is a multi-chapter narrative uh, based around apes uh, that are on their way to the third continent. Uh, the way that these podcasts will work. Um, so with our with the Nerve Ape podcast, we're looking to interview, you know, the team and also people who are in working in the Web three media and storytelling spaces. And also, we'll be doing readings of the Nerve Ape Saga story. And the Nerve Ape Saga story is a story by Nerve Ape, uh, and. There are, uh, you know, very, there's many connections between the characters in the story with the products and um, the PFPs and, and the uh, NFTs that we are creating and building. And so, yes, we're a story-driven, narrative-driven, uh, a metaverse, or you can say NFT project, or, and I'm here joined by the founder, uh, Echo. Hi, Echo. You want to say hi very quickly? Hi, everybody. This is Echo. Oh, awesome. And so with the way that these readings with the story will work is that I'll first do a reading of the story, and then um, I'll, I'll bring Echo in for a Q&A. And then uh, hopefully later on, we'll also be joined uh, for later story readings, uh, joined by the writers, uh, and to give you some more insight behind the story. So without further ado, um, I'm going to go ahead and read the story. Um, uh, Echo, did you want to say anything before we start? No, I'm good. Go ahead. Okay, great. All right, so let's go ahead and start with story number one. Huh. Excuse me. So, Nerve Ape Saga, Chapter One, Factories of Broken Dreams. Story one is an unexpected encounter. And the the story loss, log line for this is... Lost in a mysterious world, Dev the developer encounters a giant monolith ahead. What he sees next went beyond his imagination. So let's start. An unexpected encounter. Dev the pink ape coughed and sputtered as he pushed through the swirling sandstorm. There was nowhere to go but forward. His laptop lost many miles ago. He now had only himself to rely on. He was not sure if this was the right way, but he knew in, but knew in his heart that he was getting closer to what he is seeking. The storm dissipated. Dev dusted himself off and took a deep and free breath. It was nighttime now, and a hush fell upon the dark, empty lands. He made a window with his fingers and peered through, looking up at the sky. This is unreal. What looked to be a brilliant starry cosmos of swirling comets and bright stars sprawled out endlessly above. He felt the sensation of cool rock at his feet and looked out towards a rocky and barren terrain of dry cliffs and valleys. Several feet ahead, a towering monolith stood on its own. Smooth and black, the monolith gleamed as if to beckon Dev to come closer. Come to the third continent. You'll find what you are looking for. An unknown voice filled the earth in Dev's mind. Who was that? What's the third continent? He stepped forward in the direction of the monolith. He saw himself reflected against its mirror-like surface. A pink ape of average height and looks, a bit downtrodden from the routine of life and work, a slightly pudgy underbelly from an affinity for soda. The mirror-like surface began to wobble. His reflection wavered and distorted, now forming a new ghost-like image of Dev. The images were visible but wispy, as if made of clouds. The same ape now sat in a spacious, stylish room in a high-rise condo, playing the latest game in front of a wall-to-wall widescreen TV. Comic books lined his bookshelves, and his high-tech fridge announced with a happy jingle that it was fully stocked with Gorilla Dew. Reflection Dev turned towards Dev, a cracked open, a cracked open and ice-cold Gorilla Dew, and raised the bottle towards him with a smile. He took a long swig, reclining in his gaming chair. What a life. Dev walked faster towards the monolith, watching himself live a life of pure indulgence. 
As Dev approached closer, the images began to warp once again. The Gorilla Dew no soda in the monolith swirled around and faded away to a green blur. No. Dev's shoulders dropped in dismay. The dream life had dissolved. Slowly, a new image rose up, this time much more vibrant and clear. Dev let out a small gasp at the sight. A pink ape sat at the computer, fervently typing with a look of quiet determination in his face. As the pink ape entered more code, something was happening outside of the monolith. A swirl of neon-colored signals and nodes began to spin around above Dev's head across the sky. Stars boogied and the galaxy twirled in an electrifying dance. The cosmos buzzed, bounced, and grew as more code was entered into the computer. Dev was entranced by his, this magical occurrence in the sky when he heard the sweet chirping of birds. He looked down to see the once rocky planet now transformed into a lush green world of flora and fauna. With rapid strokes on his keyboard, the pink ape in the monolith created a new world. He looked identical to Dev, but his eyes had a new light to them, a certain fire. He lived with purpose and a dream. He was a developer like Dev, but his actions created synergy. The ape's fingers typed even faster, and with each line, the swirling cosmos grew more vibrant and alive. A glowing white light poured out from the pink ape as he worked, the shining beam now streaming outside of the monolith and illuminating Dev. Like a moth to a flame, Dev took more steps forward, the light triggering an outpour of emotions. Wonder, excitement, a bit of fear, hope, curiosity, and another feeling he had no name for. What was this new self doing, and how could he get there? He took more steps towards the monolith, now almost completely engulfed by the light. Dev reached out towards the monolith. An earth-rumbling roar. As fast as Dev could look up with mouth agape, he witnessed an unimaginable sight. An iridescent silver dragon with piercing eyes and smoke pouring out of its flaring nostrils. It took a swan dive from hundreds of feet above and was now headed straight towards Dev. Okay. Uh, end. All right. Yay. Oh. <laughs> All right, great. So that's story one, an unexpected encounter. So awesome. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm curious about the uh, yeah. So let's start with a few questions uh, first about yourself, Echo. So uh, before we get into okay. questions about the story, uh, tell us a little bit okay. about yourself and and uh, your background. You started as a, a fine artist, I guess, or like a traditional artist, correct? Yeah. Uh... I start with traditional art when I was like ten years old. Mm. Yeah, I I uh I learned to draw oil painting, uh sketch like that. But after eighteen years old, I was learn uh interactive design, and I find I really enjoy it. I like to like design something, uh, a part of the, uh work and uh, show this work and see what the audience reaction. So their reaction can add to the add to this uh, works and it, it will show totally different uh, ways like what I desired. Mm -hmm. So uh, I found I really like uh, UX uh, interactive design. And then I work as UX UI designer when I joined a crypto company. Mm. And in there, I met a bunch of uh developers. They 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 teach me a lot of new uh technology and uh, uh concept, and I really inspired by them. So that's actually that's the start of the nerve. So I watch them, I observe them, and uh, I I I I let them tell me story. Mm -hmm. And uh, some story in there actually inspired by them. So I think why, uh, I think that uh, I should start the narrative and to represent them and also represent this time, our times. And okay. uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, actually for me, like narrative, this uh, project is kind of uh, interaction, interactive artist. So we uh, build story 
but we left some uh, blank park parts. So audience, if they like it, they can build their own story. Uh, we have some uh, characters and then we have their personality, their likes, their dislikes. If the audience like this character, they also can give this character more uh, interesting stories. So for me, this nervous whole project is kind of like an interactive project. Okay, so kind of like an interactive, I would say maybe art media project. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. So the you started, I think, uh, so then your background is not necessarily in blockchain or technology necessarily, but you learned as you got in more interested in the field. Yes. Um, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Great, great. And so, yeah, uh, as for the story, uh, what drew you to, you know, many NFT projects or many, you know, uh, projects in the Web3 space, you know, do not have a story or they have like maybe like, a you know, an outline or like character descriptions, right? But mm -hmm. why, why take the time to make a story part of, you know, this project yeah uh, uh build a story sounds like a ridiculous right <laughs> we need more time more money to build it like we now directly create pfp of uh, like uh like 1000 pfp and sells to audience and we can make money right but this way is not what we like actually we hate this way Mm. So and uh, the first uh, the 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 first day that we build Nerve, we uh we we like uh we know what we are and what we wanna show to the audience. We don't wanna uh define what audience looks like. We we wish they can express themselves, but we still need to give them a sense of feeling like what what is Nerve, like what are they doing, right? So we think the story is a, a best way to show what exactly Nervip is. They not like directly tell what they are, but they can, uh, they can know what they are from the story. Different people can have different feeling, and uh, this feeling, based on the this basic story. So, mm. and uh, we in our team we also like the cartoon like uh, animation. So uh, if we have a story, it's a good way to start our like future. If we can have uh, animation, if we can have a uh, cartoon, it's a good way to start it. So that's why we start a narrative story. Right, yeah. I know for me, I joined this project uh, after you, 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 you and your team have already started creating the story for about a year or so. And uh, mm -hmm. I think that's what attracted me to this project and why I wanted to work with this team. With uh, and I because I felt like oh I have an idea of from the story I could get a sense of the spirit of the team you know mm -hmm. uh, and also um, there's a certain sense of what's the word like it's um, wholesome you know like kind of like uh, it, it in uh, in a way that these I, I i felt like i could trust the team more because ah, there was a story behind it right thank you right right there's it was like oh this is not a cash grab uh you know short term nft project they're actually taking time to build stuff whether it be story the art um and you know and the pfps so i i, I felt a little bit more trust um so yeah let's get into the q a about the story so um so we got a little bit of idea of why start the story why why you started the story uh so prior to this uh, i mean did, did you have any background in writing or like did you, um i know you had to get a writer to come in and help write it uh, write the story so what is the process of like um you know starting this story and, and finding a writer and and all that yeah uh we we find the writer uh the writer is like introduced by our 3d designer which is mm. bradley yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> he introduced it to us and uh, we have a bunch of meetings before uh she writes the star uh, story mm. firstly we 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 wish the story is uh is a like humorous story 
So we 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 need this uh, writer has the humor is the is the first way, and then we need this writer has the uh, sense of what is blockchain. Mm. Uh, and uh, yeah, and we have a bunch of meeting with uh developers with designers. So they they said what they want, what what the blockchain in their mind, what was what, what why they love blockchain. This this technology, this technology, why this technology is different, uh, with other like webs, uh, like uh inter internet technology. So. Uh, we have a bunch of meeting before start write the story. Mm. Uh, and the, during the story, so uh, we have eighteen ac- characters. This is the different way. Like we already have eighteen story, eight no not eighteen. I think uh twenty one characters. Okay. Yeah. And and they already have their uh. Div- they are in different field. Like one is developer, one is dreamer, one is, uh, uh, rookie. So they already have what they are. So it's a biggest challenge for writers. Like we 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 have to give them like, uh, characters, and they have to keep these characters, and uh, the concept. But the they give us a lot of uh good idea like how to give the let those characters like meet each other fight with each other and uh give them different background they are in three different worlds so um, in the meeting uh yeah that's in the meeting we have uh in our team we we tell them what we want and in team they give us good suggestion like how they can use their uh, background help us to build our story. Mm. So you yourself, uh, I guess, uh, I guess you're an artist. So in, in a way you tell story through your art, but as far as writing, um, do you have much experience in writing a story or, or um, telling stories in that way? Yeah. Uh, no, actually I don't have too much experience like writing story, but uh, when I was learn art, I need to build a, like a small animation. So that is on, like only two minutes animation. So we write script. So that's the only experience. Uh, in, yeah. Right, right. So then you you brought in the experienced storyteller. I I know Ivy. She has a background in filmmaking and yeah. writing scripts. So uh, that's awesome. So let's get into the actual story itself. Um. So let's see. So you, how do you met? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about Dev. Like, so we start with this character, um, this pink ape. Uh, who is Dev? Uh, what is the inspiration behind Dev? Why Dev? Why start with him? Yeah. Why not Cookie or another character? So uh, I'm curious to know more about uh, Dev, this character. Um, <laughs> that's an interesting question. As I mentioned, I used to work as UX UX UI designer in an uh yeah tech uh crypto company. Mm, yeah. Uh, and uh, in that time, I was the only one designer in their team, and uh, others are all developers. So I met a bunch of different developers. They are quite interesting for me. They are very <laughs> geek, uh, right, yeah. nerd. But they are very friendly, and uh, feel for me, I feel they don't know how to exp- express themselves. Mm. They they are really did some good stuff, but they don't know how to show show them. So I really like them, and uh, I wish I have some way to ex- express them. Mm. So that is the first character. I'm sure that I need our star have that. Mm. And why right. dive? Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah good. And why dive is the first character in our story is my my personal is my personal uh willing is that personal because uh if I if I didn't join that company there's no way I will start the narrative so uh-huh. actually developers inspire me to start it so. That's why the dev is the first character in our story. Right. I guess it's through your will and through your your desire to start with dev, I guess. Yeah. 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 And because they start. 
they inspired me to start this uh, whole project. Uh, yeah, in, in a way, I guess, so I guess before, I mean, that's why they call it writing code, right? Before writing yeah. code, um, people would write, you know, stories and, and that was a way to transmit information. But now developers, they write code and that's become, you know, that's taken over. They are creators of how to send information, receive information now. Um, in a way, they are, they are like the modern day creators. Um, in a sense, like uh, that w humans have always been creating, right? So yeah. being, um, I think a develop, starting with a creator, like a, a builder, like a developer, it makes sense yes, like to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, for the imagery in the story, like, so we have Dev, the pink ape, who's, you know, kind of represents developers. Yeah. And then, but so why apes then? So, like, you know, uh, Dev is an ape, but Dev could, you know, could have been a bear, dog, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I know we've talked about this in, in, in meetings before. So, yeah, I'm curious to hear from you. Um, why the ape versus some other animal for this project? Yeah. Um, there is a movie that gave me a lot of inspiration, but I don't want to mention this movie's name. <laughs> <laughs> if all this know it, um, tap the name, and then we have some secret gift, maybe. Actually, right, right. Uh, some people in our community, they they get they guess what, what this what this movie is. And uh, yeah, they are very great. Uh, but uh, for me, uh, basically, ape represent an evolution. Mm. Uh, so I think in this digital world, I wish I can use ape to represent evolution as well. So that's why uh, I like ape. And uh, of course, because they're moving. So mm. we, we said like we use ape to represent our as our main character. Right, and, and the apes are cute too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and it gives me a feeling like they are geek, but friendly. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, nerd. I, nerd. Yeah, they are. They are. I guess um, if you want to get technical, they are the sm you know smarter smart, animals. Yeah. yeah, smart animals. Right. I guess there's also dolphins, elephants, but like apes. Yeah, they're close to humans or part of have human evolution. Yeah. Yeah. um for for the desert like so he's traveling in the desert and he finds a monolith is this all connected to the movie i guess or <laughs> uh the desert is but uh actually they they all have some kind of connection with the movie yeah you're uh, right ah uh, okay yeah because the feeling of the desert yeah it's barren you know that movie right i, I know yeah it's the, okay. the science, science fiction movie um <laughs> i'm sure uh, if anyone uh, is watching this on YouTube or or some sort of other platform? You can leave a comment. Try to guess the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so yes, I mean the desert, uh, kind of like a barren land. It, so let me let me see if I get this correct. So you start with like a desert, kind of like barren land, but then because of the developer and with the help of the monolith, a developer can create a world that is starts out empty, barren but then make it full of stuff. Is that kind of what you're going for? Yeah, with... yeah, yeah. Um, it is. Okay. And then I guess the dragon, what's the dragon all about? You know, or is that something a secret for later on we find out? Yeah. Um, it's something secret for later on. <laughs> but uh, in our team, we like uh, Dragon Ball. Oh, Dragon Ball. <laughs> Okay. And so we think we we'll have to have dragon in our story, and uh, we find an interesting connection. So that's why dragons here. But they have some deep uh, meaning, but like that's keeping a secret. Okay. Okay. And the last thing, I, as far as imagery is concerned, is the third continent, right? So yeah. I, I guess without giving too much away, is I guess for now, just keep it a mystery. The third continent, what that is. Mm -hmm. okay all right so we won't talk but, we won't, uh, yeah, yeah but i can see what what the, the third corner for me i think that's a, a dream place i think different people have different dream place but uh 
what's your dream place? Uh, what your ima imagination for the dream place? That is what the third continent. Hmm. So your whatever your dream place is, that could be uh the third continent, the third can, continent. can represent that. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. And so uh, the last question I had was like, uh, you know, I think you already answered it. Well, why start the story here? So in a way you wanted, it sounds like you wanted to start the story uh, with a developer. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many different ways to start like a whole saga. And, and now there's 17 stories now in this, in this nerve vape saga. Um, why start here? You think for you, uh, what, um, there's so many different ways to start a story. Yeah. Why start? In, I guess for you, you want to start it with, you want to start with a developer because that's what inspired you. And then, mm -hmm. um, and as far as the the story is concerned, uh, do you do you feel happy with this beginning? Is are you satisfied? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy with this beginning. If there's no story, we there's no way we can build character. We have to have like a basic essential uh background for character. Then we can give more uh a personal uh interesting or uh, inspiration for our designers to create a 3d design or our 2d design mm, cool awesome and then uh for like the storytelling uh do you have an outline of the entire piece before you start or you just have maybe like a, a little bit of idea i know for like pixar they the one thing they recommend for storytelling is have the idea like uh, of the ending it first yeah. and then you can start the story do you have an idea of the ending first or you just start with like uh yeah we have an ending first and oh. then uh, what's the uh connection between each apes what they're like or who are the friends who are the avi so uh or we, we uh like which character represent group like clever which which uh character represents friendly so they all already said like what they are and uh, the start and the ending and then start the story ah okay awesome okay great i think for this episode we uh yeah we're left with a cliffhanger of a dragon rushing towards death <laughs> what's gonna happen oh no we'll find out uh in the next story story number two escape which will be uh our next episode so please listen to that so awesome uh sorry <laughs> echo sorry sorry yeah he's the writer and echo thank you so much for sharing um your thoughts about uh nerve Ape saga and and the kind of the inspiration behind it thank you inviting me here it's very interesting awesome thank you all right cool and until next time see you bye bye <laughs>